But coronavirus coverage for a second. A growing outbreak at a Modesto Senior Living Center. Dozens of residents have now tested positive. Four, sadly, have died. Yeah, several staff members have also tested positive there. Uh, the outbreak is at the El Rio Care Center in North Modesto. CBS 13's Renee Santos is there live now with what's being done to try to keep residents safe and a look at the facility's history there. Renee. Well, right, right now we know that staff and residents inside have been tested. We're also learning that this facility directly behind me got its license back in 2017. It can care for up to 72 people. Right now we know there are 40 cases. More than half of them are residents. I saw him when they exited the um, ambulance. I waved to him. He flashed me a peace sign. This is that moment captured in a photo of 78 year old Siegfried Kessler, who liked to go by Zeke. His ex wife, Barbara Vieira, says that day was June 17th, and that was the last time she saw him alive. He passed at 10:33 yesterday, June 24th. Zeke died after testing positive while living at the El Rio Memory Care community in Modesto, where 26 residents and 14 staff members also got sick with the virus. I'm worried about the rest of the people that are there. In an email sent to the facility, El Rio states there are daily temperature checks and health screenings and says the facility is following health department and CDC guidelines. A look at the California Department of Social Services website and you'll find since the facility got its license in 2017, three complaints have been filed with the state. The most recent, in November of last year. Dr. Charlene Harrington is a nursing professor at the University of California, San Francisco. I think what we need is some very tough penalties levied against these homes, and we need more uh, inspectors. I don't think it's going to stop until this happens. Barbara never got the chance to say goodbye to Zeke in person. I had them put the phone next to his ear. Uh, I talked to him and let him know that he's loved. She hopes other families speak up as soon as they notice something isn't right. I don't know if that would have made a difference, but this man suffered. The facility did send us a statement sending thoughts and prayers to the families impacted by all of this. Zeke would have celebrated his 79th birthday next Thursday. Yeah, we echo those thoughts. Renee, thanks. Now